Hello, I'm Richard Hooper, and I'm pleased to be joined by Logan Theran, President and CEO of Antenna Research Associates. Logan, thank you for joining me today. Now, the question I have, it's been 12 months since you finalised the AQYR acquisition in July 2020. What benefits has this brought to ARA? ARA's vision um, uh, is to move up the value chain uh, by vertically integrating and providing solutions to our customers. In the SATCOM market vertical in particular, Acquire has a VSAT terminal that enabled ARA to move up that value chain, also leveraging ARA's engineering know-how in the antennas in the same market vertical. So uh, we see this as an opportunity to step up uh, and use Acquire as a platform, and at the end of the day, provide a solution rather than uh, our legacy and history of just providing antennas. So we are excited about what this has enabled us over the last one year and be excited about the future as well. Looking specifically at the Acquire product range, how are the VSAT products being utilized by customers? Acquire's main product line historically is um, a GBS terminals and GBS being uh, a global, global broadcast uh, uh, system in terms of the network and they provide the terminals uh, primarily for expeditionary forces for uh, Department of Defense for receiving large sensor data and video downloads. But what makes it unique uh, is not that, uh, that it's just another terminal, but it's a terminal that uh, enables the expeditionary forces to be able to have a uh, quick acquisition uh, of uh, connectivity into the satellite network. Uh, and that stands out in the marketplace. Uh, and also importantly, along with it, uh, acquired terminal has a unique packaging uh, and for expeditionary forces, that packaging is very important because they need to be able to uh, move into a theater and be able to carry their package uh, most efficiently, if you will, from a size, weight, power, uh, if you will. And in that sense, uh, it stands out in the marketplace. Originally operating as a division of Windmill, Acquire began production of uh, the unique SATCOM receive suite for warfighters needing reliable portable connection to the global broadcast system, which you mentioned. What can you tell us about GBS and where do you see this technology for future MILSATCOM capabilities? Yeah, look, in a, in a nutshell, GBS provides uh, mis mission essential information to the nation's um, warfighter, warfighters using uh, broadband satellite communication links. Uh, ARA has been uh, providing these tactical terminals to the GBS program for uh, over a decade, uh, and we are excited about the future. Uh, the, uh, uh, there will continually be a need uh, within the military for more data and faster access to that data, and examples of that would be uh, mo mobile communications or comms on the move uh, for airborne or maritime or land-based requirements. And there will always be a continued focus uh, as we think about in the future uh, for improving this ability of uh, MILSATCOM systems, particularly to be able to survive uh, uh, various either GBS attack from a jamming perspective or a loss of satellite or what have you, and therefore uh, resilient communications and enabling that uh, to the warfighter and to other customers is an important element of the requirement set as I think about uh, our future. And we, uh, 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 we are focused on our roadmap as we think about that in these set of circumstances that I just described. Acquire has been developing enterprise transportable VSAT terminals for over seven years. Uh, what sets you apart from other terminal manufacturers? Yeah, it's a good, good, good question. So uh, we've, as I mentioned uh, already, we've worked uh, very closely with the Department of Defense in developing the differentiating IP. Uh, and of course, that was uh, one of our primary interests, but most, most importantly of what I described to you, which is to move up the value chain. But uh, uh, notwithstanding that, what we've done over the last one year is also been developing our uh, strategic plan and our product roadmap to, at the end of the day, provide a flexible, novel architecture VSAT terminal that reduces the total cost of ownership for our customers uh, and also improve our mission planning or the customer's mission planning uh, requirements, if you will, thereby providing added value. Uh, and uh, this product uh, called Cetera uh, is being launched as of this show. Let's focus on a particular product, and that's the Typhoon. Um, 
it's an established product in a very competitive market space. Do you have any enhancements to the Typhoon and your existing product line? Sure. While we, as I just mentioned, while we launched the Soterra product uh, and pivot to new value creation for our customer base, we will also continue to support our existing customers with uh, Typhoon um, for improvements in software and hardware for additional features and it has user experiences, and that's in our roadmap as well as we think about our, our future while we continue to support the uh, enhanced capability that I just described to you as a new product launch here uh, called Cetera. It's a very competitive market when it comes to products. What new products have you got on the horizon? Yeah, as I just mentioned, uh, Cetera is a, a significant product launch uh, that uh, I'm excited about uh, discuss discussing with uh, various customers, and we've, uh, we've already begun that uh, journey. And what it really does is, at the end of the day, is multiple terminals in a single terminal concept, uh, and thereby uh, customers get the ability uh, for multiple bands and multiple sizes of a terminal all in one concept, uh, in one construct of a package. Uh, that is unique, uh, creates uh, flexibility for our customers from a mission planning perspective, and that's what we are launching at this show. Um, but most importantly, as we even think about pivoting off of that point, uh, we are also, um, we've got plans, uh, not only development plans, but also uh, discussions with various customers to bring in a capability set called the um, alternate position navigation and timing and uh, bring in that feature set into our terminal uh, and, and providing that capability to our customers provides that resilient communication capability that I talked about earlier. Well, that all sounds really exciting, but as you're probably aware, every company is faced by changing market challenges. What do you see as the next big market disruptor? Yeah, I mean, I think in the marketplace, particularly in the SACCOM, um, you know, there's plenty of uh, uh, news out there about uh, having the need for additional data, not only on the military side, but also on the commercial side. Uh, there have been uh, various efforts underway to put up uh, uh, satellites in the other orbit, orbits uh, of LEO and MIO. Uh, but at the end of the day, notwithstanding uh, those uh, capabilities being put up there, there needs to be ground terminals that needs to be able to support that. Uh, and in particular for those low earth uh, or mid earth uh, orbit uh, satellites, um, there needs to be unique differentiation capability uh, that is at the right size, weight, power, cost, uh, and all of that needs to be uh, brought to the market. And I don't believe at this point there is a solution that's been fully proven out yet. So the um, art of having uh, a flexible architecture that maps not only in the SATCOM space, but also in other market verticals in communication solutions, uh, utilizing the um, AESA or Active Electronically Steered Array for low power to mid power and high power, depending on the requirement set. And, and having that out in the marketplace, meeting the customer's requirements at the right cost point, along with having the uh, alternate PNT capability all embedded inside a single terminal uh, I do believe will be a, a significant differentiator in the marketplace and ARA and uh, uh, Acquire combined together now as an uh, enterprise is well positioned to be able to provide that and we are excited about what that future holds. Well, Logan, thank you very much. It's been very interesting talking to you today and hopefully in the near future we'll get to chat again. Thank you. Richard, thank you very much for this opportunity to talk about ARA. It's a pleasure.